Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the weekly review at Shun's Rock. I am Sean and Ken Torres. And of course, and I'm sh- going. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you cut you off. <laughs> and it's your boy, Sister Rock the Mic. My bad. Uh, it's all that good. One. Hey, it's all good. Hey, at least I know it's a, it's a real intro. It's not recorded. Yeah. <laughs> man, shit, and it's me. I forgot. Anyways, damn, another Friday. Uh, another Friday. week in the books. Another week in the books. You know, here in this heat dome of Florida. I mean, man, has it been hot. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it's been, my AC is like fighting. <laughs> I actually um on Tuesday, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Monday. I don't remember. I'm sure you guys got it too. The um the heat advisory warning yes. to your phone. Yes. Like I've never seen that in, in Florida at all. And it's well, <laughs> I mean Florida's hot as as it is, but man, it, it was, was a, a heat index of 109 degrees. Yeah. 109. I read somewhere they said that it was on paper well officially the hottest recorded day for the planet like everybody i believe it, it was the whole I, earth I, I believe it, it and it, and it's el nino and that's the thing they didn't prepare us and say nino. oh el nino's coming el nino's coming but all of a sudden we get this whole heat wave thing like all the <laughs> like trying to survive through like oh yeah this is el nino come oh, on man. really but <laughs> hey with all that said with all the weather being you know the weather being the weather it has been a good week uh, and yes. we have Fourth of July, you know, and Happy Fourth to everyone else out yeah. there. Yeah, was it? What, what'd you What'd you do for the the Fourth? Uh, I just I just hung out of the house, got a little bit, shot a couple mm-hmm. fireworks, and yeah, mm-hmm. nothing big, nothing big. But you know, I we actually I actually had a party I went to uh, Fourth of July party I went to a week prior. So you know, and right again. So to the crew of Brigadoon, thank you for for that invite. That was that was uh, great. Um, it was a weird one. Yeah, though. that was. It was a Tuesday. Oh yeah. It was, and that's the thing because, so in the military, you get like around major holidays, you get what's called a four day pack or a four day weekend, right? But the way this falls is you normally have the day before and the day after the holiday off, and then an additional day. Well, with it falling the way it did, some people had to do, do had, work Monday. You had you had Saturday, Sunday, yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off, but you had to go to work went back Wednesday. So fourth yeah. grade on Tuesday, you couldn't really do anything. You're not staying up late. You're not doing it because you got to be at work at five o'clock in the morning. You're not doing yeah. anything. You're just like, and, ah. and Monday you had to work. So it's like, it's just, just a random, it's, they should, they should have planned that better. They should have gave people <laughs> Monday off and then Tuesday off. And then people go back to work on, on Wednesday. But you know how it works. Like, I, I mean, can you imagine Sunday? Like, yeah, it's holiday weekend. Like, mm, not really. I got to work tomorrow, but then I'm off. And then I got to go back to work. It's just like a sick day. So it's a sick day, one sick day off of work. Uh, I treated it like it was like like Tuesday. I treated it like, okay, I got to do stuff on Wednesday. So I'm just going to chill out, you know, with Tuesday. Now, I did, you know, have a couple of drinks on Monday. You know, I, I yeah. made sure I got a couple of drinks in. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I've I been playing, like I said, last episode, I've been, every break I get, man, I've just been playing pickleball. And, I've, and, and, and I got to learn to stop, like, making plans afterwards. I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna go play pickleball and then I'm gonna do this. Man, that sun and outside yeah. and where we play, we don't have any like type of coverage, like uh any covering. Um, so you just oh, get roasted. Yeah, you either get rained on or you get roasted by the sun. And by the time I get home, I'm just oof, I am beat. But <laughs> I believe it. You know, hopefully, uh, I mean we're we're starting to we're coming around to the kind of the uh the peak of the summer. You know, I feel like mid July is usually when you know, it gets the hottest. August does is hot, but no. Yeah, to me, I think August. August is the hottest. There. Oh, I think August is up there. I hope know, not, because this this is it for me. I can't, <laughs> I can't go no harder. I'm moving. But anyway, um, what do we got? What do we got on the uh, uh, down today? So for on today's show, we got a good show for you guys. You know, always a good show here. But we're gonna bring you guys a nice good show today. We're gonna have to discuss Twitter. I mean, this is what everyone's talking about. Twitter versus Threads. Are you gonna sign up? Do you want to sign up? Do you know the, the what some of the rules around it? Um, we're also going to discuss uh, the N- the big three coming for the NBA. If you don't know what the big three is, it's the uh, it's the league that Ice Cube are partnered with other p- players and mm-hmm. investors to start a big three three on three tournament that plays during the summer. And uh, we're going to also discuss the Sphere in Vegas is a uh, attraction in Vegas. Apparently, it's kind of scary, it's kind of spooky. So <laughs> we're going to discuss that. And of course, we have a nice what the Florida for you. And with all that said and done, we're going to go ahead and jump into the first story: uh, Twitter versus Threads. Threads. That is something. Uh, threads. I got and I got to say it right. That is something that is uh, 
it's big. I mean, it, it is huge right now. It's so big that um, Elon, who's the owner of Twitter, you know, the old Twitter, he came out the morning after this morning today and said, I, I'm suing, I'm going to, is threatening to sue <laughs> threads already. Already. There's, and there's this came out minutes. Three, it was last night. It just started last night. I mean, I mean, come on. What, what, what are we doing? Yeah, here? I think Elon, <laughs> Elon, and, and well, obviously we know Threads is an extension of the Meta, uh, Meta company, the Facebook, the Instagram, the WhatsApp, um, and now the new Threads, which is basically just a another public, you know, um, uh, uh, public discussion board. Basically, just like Twitter. I mean, it is what it is. Like and I, 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 uh, I mean, I see why Elon, Elon would probably sue. He's probably not going to win, but you know, it's a very similar product. Um, however, the big thing is right now, Elon and uh, Mark Zuckerberg have been kind of having a billionaire battle, beef, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, they've yeah, uh, they've jokingly um, have uh, been speaking on possibly having a cage fight. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know how serious. To take I, that. I, I, I I will give that to Elon on that one. No, no. You think I'm so? Nice. I don't know, man. They said Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, they're they're like both they're both MMA very classes. skinny, pale. Um, males don't look like they've ever had a day in the gym. I'm just saying. I'm gonna put well, it out there. Well, I I think Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> though he has like some why he has it. I don't know. I feel like if you're a billionaire, you really just why would, I got security to fight my battles, but um. They said that Mark Zuckerberg takes like martial arts training, or I mean, he has all the oh, time and money uh, in the world. Yeah, yeah. They said he. Uh, I don't okay. know if he'd be whooping okay. people, but you know, I haven't seen Elon. I mean, I guess Elon could just use the Neuralink to upload, you yeah, know, like, yeah, like yeah. the Matrix. Like, all right, give me <laughs> all the martial arts training in twenty minutes. Um, so he, but he wouldn't do that. He would bring because all those people got. Actually, oh, okay. He's like, oh yeah. And then there you go. He's gonna have everyone drawn in and attack Zuckerberg in the in the Facebook right there. Yeah, Head of Meta. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, if that ever happened, obviously it would be for yeah, you know, it'd be like a charity thing, and you know, it'd be staged. It, it wouldn't be no like UFC no. fight where they're trying to really no. knock each other out. No, they'd be it'd be all for it, fun. If if a, if a lip got busted, oh hell, hell would break loose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like. Oh God! People be fired. They probably buy the gym just to tear it down. <laughs> yeah, can you, like, I mean that's just—it's kind of crazy to even to think about now. Like these CEOs and billionaires that have endless amounts of money, like that are running multiple companies, are like considering like cage fighting each other. Like that. What is what does the world come to? Um, uh, but, but I mean, but I mean, and the thing is, and I think this is kind of like a slap in, in Elon's face. Zuckerberg did copy by not copy i mean he didn't like copy it to to the t so he could cover mm -hmm. himself but they did copy the a same. lot of twitter yeah i it's mean it's, 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 it's a lot of twitter and i don't know if uh maybe we'll have a picture for you. we should have a picture for you you know when this uploads but it's a it's really close to twitter it's yeah. uh um i haven't i haven't downloaded it myself but i um from what i've read it's very similar to the whole instagram interface with the scroll i mean that's just how it is with any social media new social media platform these days just endless scrolling and you know it's the same type of uh design um but the big thing is so i mean everyone knows this but twitter was bought by elon uh within the past i think year or maybe you're not i don't know how long it's been so far but uh and the you know the big uh point or pushing point for twitter with elon buying it was you know the freedom of uh, freedom of expression. It was not going to be filtered. It was not going to be, you know, basically how it was beforehand. When who was it? David Duchovny. Who ran Twitter? Who's the owner of Twitter before Elon? I already forgot. Uh, no, what was his name? Um, you're it you're was, close. Um, it, it wasn't David Duchovny. That's the actor from X Files. And, <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> David Duchovny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're at Twitter. <laughs> uh, Dave, was it Dave Portnoy? It was a Dave. It had one. to be a Dave. Uh, I, think, I think Patrick it was Jack one. Dorsey. I knew it was a Dave. Right, Dorsey. Pat it Dorsey. was a D in there yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they sold it to. Oh, to oh that's that's the owner. That's the owner. Not, the owner's not the CEO. The actual CEO of Twitter is Linda Yacarino. 
Right. So but that, I mean, Jack, yeah. Jack, Jack, and Elon, they own it. They made the deal. They made the they, and, they, made the, um, they, made the, they made the decisions at the end of the day. Let's just sit. Yeah. Let's just say what it is. Yeah. And when Elon <laughs> had purchased it, you know, it was kind of like I mean, it's it's still in his like beginning stages as him being the new uh, the head of everything. And, yes. you know, with the handcuffs coming off as far as like content and restrictions and all that stuff, I, I get it. You know, I, I, I wouldn't want to be on a platform that restricted you. I mean, like, especially what I just dealt with with Facebook and getting the shit hacked and deleted and all this other crap. Oof, you know what I mean? It's you went through it. You went through hell. I'm just Yeah. And it's a, and it's a it's pain a, in the butt. So, you know, I, I'm definitely, I, I was rooting for Twitter, but. You know, with Elon being so active in social media, with him actually tweet, which I'm not, I don't really, I don't hate, but I definitely don't love. You know, it's like, yo, this guy say is he makes this company and he's saying all this type of random weird stuff. He makes, he can make the stock market change just because he said something. You realize yeah. that, right? He yeah. literally makes the stock market change. This is just because, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to buy shares and such and such today. And then, you know, a million people will buy shares in that company on that day because they know, oh, a billionaire is about to buy shares. Come on. But yeah. here's the thing. I don't know if you know this or not. He's uh, he has now started doing restrictions on Twitter. So well, I now he's starting to realize it, why Jack Dorsey had restrictions, because mm. there are a lot. I mean, as much as you want people to do the right thing, there's some crazy people out here who say some oh, crazy things online. No, oh, no, not that kind of restriction. This is a different kind of restriction. Let me tell you. So. Now, if you have a blue check, you can see eight thousand tweets. If you do you not have 8, a very, tweets, you, you you can see eight thousand tweets. If you do not have a a blue check, you can see one thousand tweets a day. This is a day. That's a lot. If of you tweets, have less, though. I mean, like who is just looking? Not at really. Not really. Once you scroll and you just start scrolling, boom, you're gonna hit that number. You're gonna hit that number quick because you're just Man. scrolling. Look at you. You know, the thing. Some of you use it pretty heavy. And we first came out, he had, uh, what was it? A thousand, it was supposed to be a thousand tweets, but you know, he had a lot of blowback from that. And you know, he changed it up a couple of times to the, to this now final number. But that's still, mm -hmm. why put a restriction on who can see as many tweets? But here's well, why he's done it. Probably for like money purposes, though. I mean, Twitter has to make money somehow, it, right? This is how he's done it. So, guess what is powering? I did not know this. Ch the chat B GPT and all these AI apps. Guess mm -hmm. where it's getting a lot of its knowledge base from? Hopefully not Twitter. Twitter. It's getting a yeah. lot of its knowledge base from Twitter. It's, it's data scraping Twitter to make itself smarter. So, yeah, they, he's, <laughs> he doesn't like that. I don't know if he's getting smarter going through Twitter. I mean, you may catch a, you know, a, a few uh, a few tweets of intelligence, but most of that stuff is just nonsense. <laughs> like, what? Hey, ChatGPT, what the hell are you talking about? Um, but, um, you know, with a lot of the restrictions are, are, are geared towards more extreme forms of post, you know, like, mm -hmm. okay. Like, so you could be on Facebook and this, this is, it was really big when they elect, I think it's, it's usually come, come becomes a, a huge issue when it comes to any type of uh, government elections, whether that's for, you know, the Supreme court or governors or, or the presidential um, election is when a lot of misinformation is spread. And that's when I you would kind of yeah. need some type of content filter to, you know, to differentiate like real news versus, you know, uh, uh, misinformation. Um, and Twitter there's, there's, is, it was one of those big ones. And when Elon kind of just opened the floodgates, you got all these yeah. people who were banned like from the original platform who are, con well, you know, in some people's eyes, controversial, are now able are back and free. I think like Trump I think was I think banned, I think I think, I think I think you can say is it, I know you kind of hesitate to say controversial, but I mean when it comes to if you are a racist or not and you're saying racist things, that's that's you're not being controversial. You're just being you, and that's and you're putting right. that out there. Right. And it is just sickening the fact that Elon has let the like you said open the floodgates and say, hey, come on in. Say what you want to say. Have right. you looked at Twitter lately? I mean, with like the last like no. month or so. Or, I have a Twitter because yeah. I remember I had to make one for some reason. I just haven't gone around to delete it. And it's you know, and there's certain there's certain like what I don't like and what I'm not a fan of Meta is the the ecosystem of platforms to where like you can't use something without having something, even though you don't yeah. need that other platform at all. Like for instance, with Threads, you have to have an Instagram account. Like you can't just have a thread account, and not only that, um, 
uh, apparently, and I'm sure this is going to change, but because it's brand new still, but you can't, you can deactivate your thread accounts, but you can't delete it without deleting your Instagram. So I guarantee 90% of the users that signed up like day one did not know that. And yeah. now the, I, I almost want to guarantee that it's going to be a lot of backlash because of that, because they feel like they're forced to have this, you know, other platform that is going to grow uh, and make meta more money and you can't leave it without giving up another without giving up instagram and people have been using instagram for everything you know it's 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 graduated from just a hey a picture type of uh platform we can show off pictures and filter them and or edit them whatever to like a sort a main source of information and videos and reels and and live uh live streams and all this other things you can do on it and now it's like damn i now i have to have a threat like it's almost it's forcing you to have to be involved in the metaverse even if you don't want to and i and that i don't like you know and i like i said with, with my situation that i have with facebook i'm not a fan of, of of meta at all i got an oculus too by the way and it sucks i'll be honest it's <laughs> so <laughs> um but yeah i mean like it's still it's still brand new it's still a uh it, it's still uh you know working out some kinks it will it take over twitter i don't know do i care most likely not so you know i'm i come in and agree with that twitter i don't think twitter is as bad as twitter is getting i remember i remember twitter's early days i remember when twitter was released you know and all, all their commercials was this little bluebird flying around a house yeah and that was twitter and that no one knew, really knew what to do with it you know, right. and this thing has been a this whole time has been a morphing system. It hasn't stayed its to at its original concept. The original concept was uh, basically three, uh, what four or five sentences, and that was it. That's all you got. And then yeah, and then they started adding you know, oh, add pictures, shit. and then they started letting you add <laughs> videos, and then they started let you add you know almost a whole page of stuff. So I mean, it, it's a system that keeps changing. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but here there are other twitter like um sites out there so you know we have threads which is obviously because it's zuckerberg's baby and it had 10 million people sign up for it on day one day yeah. day one actually not even day one not even 24 hours that it was released that night hours later it had 10 million 10 million yeah. hours later i think people That's are crazy. just scared to miss out is the fomo of like when tiktok <laughs> Can't, like they don't want to like miss out on another TikTok type of opportunity, you know? Yeah. Like I remember TikTok came out. I was like, "What the? F like, remember um Mike? Uh, yeah, he used to be yeah. with us. He yeah. he used to preach TikTok like before it came out. When it first came out, I was like, man, I don't know, man. People just dancing. Like, what what is this? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? And now TikTok is what the I think the number one or if not number two top social media platform. And I, yeah, I still don't even know what it is. Yeah. It, it's, it's up there. I, it, a lot of people. My my niece uses it. She she loves it. Uh, it's beyond I, us. I, I've seen it a couple of times. We, I mean, and to our viewers, we have a TikTok page that you know that is you know, that we upload videos on. So go check it out. Just because we don't understand it doesn't mean we get we don't use it. Um, we now we, I feel we, like the grand. Now I feel like my parents or grandparents that use Facebook now, and they just don't <laughs> get it. They just post the most ridiculous and I love you. Like you can't like why are you putting that on my wall? Remember my wall? Why are you putting that on my wall? And that's how I feel about TikTok now. It's like, yo, should, should I say this? Tit is this what's cool? Tit <laughs> TikTok is like if they took memes and made you and made it, you know, human, basically. It made it, took a meme and make you and made it move. That yeah. is TikTok, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> to me, that's crazy. But threads, I don't think threads are gonna work. And I don't think Twitter's gonna go. I think Twitter is going to face some rough times you know yeah. because elon is just ramming his ideas through down everyone's throats no matter who you are you know mm -hmm. he's making the changes he wants at twitter mark zuckerberg saw an opportunity you know and that's mm -hmm. i mean that's how he got facebook out there that's how he got doc let's see he saw an opportunity and so he's he's fulfilling an opportunity people are going to it in droves yeah but yeah. it's new it's new it's going to be once the king once the 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 uh rules of it come out and then you know all the surrounding things once they get start getting it more streamlined it's still i i think it will still do just as good because let's let's talk about numbers twitter has around 250 million users 
Instagram has <laughs> two billion users. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So once you once you uh, add that another concept to the platform, when it goes from just words to words and pictures to words and pictures and videos to words and pictures and videos and live, like you just, I mean, because everyone uses these platforms. Like some people just strictly still use Instagram for photos. And some people use it for video. Some people just use it for reels. Like, yeah, it, it that's yeah. how it's game. But like with Twitter and Threads, it's just, and it's only so much you can really do. Or it, it, like the whole like it's no sense of having a thread Threads that also lets you post videos and <laughs> post photos. That's just Instagram. Then like I don't. Yeah, no, like, why am I making another account for this? It's, you know, it's, 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 that's what it seems like. But hey, you know we. Uh, Will I make a thread account, a threads account? Probably so. Anytime soon? Probably I'm not. Wait a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm, wait a little yeah, bit. I'm not. I, I'm not in a rush to get onto the platform. Right. Um, and I'm gonna do it right too. You know what I mean? I'm waiting. Uh, a little bit. I'm not just gonna just sign up. You know, what's the username? El Diablo twenty four seven. That's my screen name. So, yeah. good luck to threads. I, I'm yeah. just want. I just want them to fight each other. You know, in the the celebrity celebrity deathmatch type battle. So, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's man. what we want. So, all right. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. So we're gonna talk about <clears throat> the big three coming from the NBA. So if you don't, not talk about we, GM Ford and Chrysler. We're uh, talking about Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and Snoop. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I wonder. I wonder if they if they uh, invested. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't though. But Death so the big three. Yeah, ah, that'd be fine. So the big three is a three on three tournament that is played. You know, over the summer. Um, it's it's a way to keep um, the older players, you know, like that's Iverson, Charles Oakley, that's you know, you know, still in the limelight, so to speak. You know, of course, mm-hmm. they've been they was in the limelight so so many years, and these are star players, as you know, just name a couple of the names that play. Uh, they want you know, you miss that kind of thing, I, and I and I get that. So they take this opportunity to play and, and get back out there. This is all ran, you know, well put on by Ice Cube. And you know, cover his investors, but he's the face of big three. Why remember, do we remember say folks, ice cube, not ice tea? These are two different people. <laughs> yeah. So why do why do we say that uh the big three is coming for the NBA? Because Ice Cube's pissed off. Let me tell you why Ice Cube is pissed. Mm. Ice Cube is mad, is is mad. He's, uh, it, it, <laughs> he, he is mad. Oh, yeah. I know we gotta watch out these days. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got, you're, you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna get me strung up, <laughs> but anyway, so NBA, the NBA is, is is a dominating force. Let's just put it that way. I mean, they they're just like the NFL, they NFL, NBA are pretty much overtaking the popularity of all of the sports out there, period, mm-hmm. hands down. That's and and soccer is building up to it, but still, as far as America's concerned. It's in it's NBA NFL, right? Whereas, where I see concern is because his turn has been going on since 2000, 2000 since twenty seventeen. Twenty seven, okay. Uh, all right. So it, it and it has gained popularity every single year. To the fact, I mean, it's the it, the bigger games, the larger games like the championship and the tournament, the end tournaments are televised, you know. But mm-hmm. the mainstream media, and I, I hate calling it mainstream media. So this is called like you know. The media that's out there, you know, your <laughs> CNNs, your your ESPNs, your the your news. other sport, yeah, the news, they are not and have not advertised or not advertised, reached out or, or reached out to advertise anything about the big three, none of it. So Ice Cube is mad about that. You know, he he ran I, the new season started on June 25th, and on that day, on Ju- the very next day, uh, an interview was held with him, and he ran it about how. He is mad that the gatekeepers, as he calls them, from the NBA, mm-hmm. they want him in, but they want him in the way they want him to be, not the right. way he is putting this thing on. Right. So <laughs> it, it's kind of it's kind of funny that they would go, you know, to to that to that extreme. Right. And then, um, so the, with the, the the big three, I, I mean, I I enjoy, I've watched. Uh, some games and with the basically you know it has like you said older retired players who yeah. you know i mean obviously they have still have a lifelong pass for basketball who compete against one another on a three on three um on a uh three versus three uh basketball game i think it's up to 21 points i mean it's just it, it's it's relatable because it's like your typical neighborhood pickup yeah 
format. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's guys, exactly how. Uh, and that's even how they put it out there. I mean, they don't go play in big stadiums. They go and play in, in, in very nice. Kind of, kind of uh, like a, a and one. Remember and one? Yeah, exactly. And that's one, what they did. the globe try. It's 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 more for entertainment rather than. Yes. I mean, I guess sports is entertainment regardless, but it's more for you know for people to get a chance to see some of their you know their favorite players uh, who you know they watched growing up who no longer play in the NBA still you know are out there playing ball now don't don't get me wrong i've watched the game some of these players they're not i mean they're not in the shape oh, they, they slow down they, yeah, they, they, slow, they, down. they, they slow down they got a little you gut tell, down. You, you can tell their, their knees are hurting a little bit you know i've seen some right. kind of you know try a little bit but they're still like you said they still have that passion they still exactly. have, have that passion for the game um yeah. and people are watching you know they've had you know a couple games that uh peaked over a, a, a million um um uh, million total total views as far as a uh, viewership on uh, CBS, uh, which I believe is w- the station that airs some of the games. Um, but like, uh, I don't want to cut you off because I know you're going to say this, but the NBA, as of recently, you know, have are planning to implement their own midseason tournament, yep. like basically mirroring the whole big threes concept as as a league and yes. I, you know with the nba i haven't since like since my era like the kobe's <laughs> the miss carter the early like that's my ear from 2000 yeah. to i would say 2013 that's when i was i'm lucky I'm, I, 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 I'm lucky like my 90s. era was yeah my, I'm, I'm lucky i had i got to watch the greatest to ever do it you right know? and and george i mean seeing jordan play was just still I'll, and, and I will tell people I love watching LeBron play too, but this is the way Jordan played the game. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, <laughs> so ever since then, I haven't. I mean, I've been following along, but you know, they always make little subtle changes, rule changes with, like now with the with the play in game for the playoffs. Like I, I, this is my first time even noticing that. Like, I didn't even know it was a thing. That's, it's kind of weird to me. Like I, I, I thought it was just the old format was set in stone. There was no issues. Bada bang, bada boom. Yeah. But I, I think. Adam Silver, who is the commissioner of the NBA, yep. um, I think he's trying to gear towards to more maybe a, a younger demographic whose attention spans aren't very long sure. to where they need yeah. something new and exciting. Um, that's why, hence the midseason tournament, which I, I mean, I haven't heard any backlash from the players. I'm sure that's that's coming. But um, yes. yeah. It's because I mean the play the the play association is gonna have to step in because I mean well, I think it's gonna be to it's it. gonna be in a, right. yeah and it's gonna be more yeah they they, they probably agreed to it it's, it's gonna happen but mm-hmm. it's gonna be more more money in that in their pockets you know money's always helps but, right and there's gonna be more games so more games mm-hmm. means more eyes on them less eyes on the big three and I can understand why why could be pissed I really could yeah. because you can get oversight you can oversaturate things I mean you can. Uh, but what what does Ice Cube want? Like what is like for him? To- he wants he wants, in my opinion, he wants the media to advertise just as much as they advertise for the NBA. You know, the NBA you you see yeah. LeBron, you know his his highlights. You'll see um, uh, uh, Joe 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 Fick. Joe Fick. name Nikola Jokic. Uh, Jokic. Yeah, yeah. You'll see his highlights. You know, and some you see even some op, some obscure players highlights. But you yeah. won't see anything about the big three on there. I mean, these are top players in their who were in their prime, mm-hmm. and they're they haven't to them they haven't passed their prime. They think they still can do the game, and they're still they're trying and playing for the love of the game. Right. So I can understand that 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 that. But that's not the NBA's fault. Side. You know what I mean? Like the NBA's been around for over a hundred years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't come in in within. I don't know, 2017 is what six years ago or seven years ago, however long it's been. Yeah. And like expect like sponsors just to pour in, especially because like it's 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 in former NBA players, but the level of talent is not like <laughs> you know something that's like, oh my god, like can anybody beat these guys? Like, of course the NBA players could beat them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and and also I think, you know, no offense to Ice Cube, but you know, you gotta see it as like if I'm a big you know, media company, Ice Cube is definitely marketable as a musician. It's hard for him to be marketable as, you know, stepping into the sports realm. 
Zaisku didn't ever play. He doesn't have, I mean, he maybe played sports in high school or college, or whatever, but he doesn't have yeah. that. Like, he's not Michael Jordan, where it's like, okay. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it, that's true. I mean, I, and of course, you know, uh, Magic Johnson is, of course, one of those people in that in that club, I'm very sure. Right. And, I, and I'm sure he's reached out to him, but I, I, I truly, there's a, there's some rules out there. And, and he, I mean, according to Ice Cube, you know, and because the same thing I happened with like to... and one, like it was, it was a very short, entertaining, you know, you know, uh, a, a basketball league outside of the NBA. It, it kept you entertained when the real, when the big boys weren't playing, it, it, it's, yeah. uh, to say. And, you know, that's why I assume the big, the big three league is during the summertime and not during the same time as the NBA season even though there's no NBA active NBA players playing in the big three. Correct. So it's like, so, he kind of pigeonholed himself. You know, he, he kind of gave off the vibe is like, listen, this is, we're not competing with the NBA as far as like, you know, exposure where kind of the WNBA, right. Their season is in the summertime because nobody, I, I don't mean to sound like, you know, uh, well, I know what you're going to say. The, the viewership isn't as much as the NBA. Right. Um, but here's the thing, and this is one thing that even I'm about to read one of his, his, state, his statement here, has pointed out. If the NBA wants it to be put out there, as much money and power as the NBA has, it will be put out there. Because they put out some of the Chinese, the games that go on in, in China and they go to this Asia period. Those mm-hmm. get more more looks so to speak than the WNBA or the big or 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 the big three well China is a big is a big um you know very huge with basketball over yeah but it's yes but it's not our country and that's what I'm saying they will go there right but they're they're thinking about growth and money you know they don't you know they don't really think about the small guys it's like because you ask the NBA how does making a deal with Ice Cube help the NBA well so okay so competition uh, to them so okay, this is a statement straight from Ice Cube, and this is about it. Uh, and we're trying to this is the police trying to, this, is, it, from the underground. Is, <laughs> That's a straight, straight from Ice Cube. <laughs> when explaining his gripe with the NBA, which uh, from the sounds of things has been putting up roadblocks to impede their growth, a direct quote from uh, Ice Cube. Now, a lot of people might say, "But Q, you may want to work with the NBA." Really, I did give a f about working with the NBA. <laughs> yeah, you can't I, say that. <laughs> And then yeah. it'd be like, it'd be bad. Why they don't yeah. work with you? <laughs> what I want, what I want them to do, what I want them to do when I say work with us is to stop working against us. Stop mm-hmm. doing that bull s behind the scenes. We know, we know you're doing. He says in a soft and direct tone. Mm-hmm. He then goes on to say, "It's cool if the mainstream media uh, is not there." This is his quote. That's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We we're still in the rise of, without these MFers, so we don't <laughs> need them, and don't need, and, and you don't need them. He declares before revealing his plan to do a podcast while on the road. So mm. he, he wants strong words from Mr. Cube. <laughs> yeah, he wants the media exposure, and as I said, they, I and he said this before uh, back in I believe May or August or not August May or April. He said before that he believes that the NBA is stopping advertisers and sponsors from coming to the big three. He believes that they are pressuring him not to come and give him what he thinks he truly deserves. So, well, I mean, ice cube and it's probably my last thing on this, but ice cube has enough star power to where he can take a different route. Right. Like, so me and me and you started in uh, a, a basketball league on that scale. We need advertisers. You know, we don't yeah. have like, came like, Hey, yo, I'm, I have a history of, you know, stardom since the 80s, NWA, yada, 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 yada. No. What Ice Cube needs to do, he needs to reach out to his connects, his buddies, his other celebrities that can vouch for him. Like, if if you're Ice Cube, you try to get Michael Jordan to play in this league. That would change everything. Michael Jordan's old, he's (laughs) retired. Can you imagine? I wouldn't even watch the NBA. I would just watch the Big Three. I was like, yo, Michael Jordan is playing against... Tim David Robinson at I 65? Know. Hell yeah, Simon. Yeah. And then at yeah. halftime, Elon Musk is fighting Mike Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, oh my what? god. That's oh, a, we have what? we that is the sporting event of the decade, oh my god. That, right my there. head would probably explode. Yeah. I don't know. I mean that, that the C Jordan. Oh, that'd be that'd be C Jordan and then Duck Berg. Yeah, <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be just simply amazing. But oh, yeah, man. but my last thing I'll say on the subject, then we'll move on, is you know. 
we know that NFL has pressured companies about even so so much as copyright. You can't even play thirty seconds of something from the NFL. Yeah, uh, the same thing about the NBA. So I can see them doing things behind the scenes. And please don't come after us, NBA. You know, you want to give us some money? <laughs> We're not big like that. <laughs> but I can see them being doing doing things behind the scenes to keep the big three where they think the big three belongs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. You know, yeah. and it's just and I, like like I said, the uh, big three's been around for a couple of years, and but they they still need a little bit more time, you know, before you can uh, wrestle with the big dog. So, good luck, yeah. cute man. I'll be watching though for sure. So, all right, before we jump into what floor, we're going to talk for just a couple of minutes uh, about this sphere in Las Vegas. Yeah, uh, but I'm going to give this to you because I don't know anything about it. So let's discuss it. <laughs> like me, I'm like, I don't know either. I was looking at pictures. Um, <laughs> but, uh, Las, Las Vegas, who have, you know, I mean, Vegas is Vegas. Who's been winning a lot lately? Like, Vegas has, I don't know if you've been paying, we were talking about sports, but, I mean, the, uh, what it, the the Vegas Knights, the hockey team, won a Stanley yeah. Cup. Yeah. Uh, the, They've only been out two years. That's yep, crazy. The Raiders <laughs> have moved to Vegas. There's talks of moving, I think, the Oakland A's baseball team. To Vegas, there is a WNBA team in Vegas. Um, it's just a lot going on. I mean, they're they're yeah, no longer, yeah. you know, the the Sin City the gambling. Yeah, you know, yeah. gambling now is just like, yo, this is a legitimate yeah. contender in a lot of things. Um, you can literally, so you can actually go to Vegas at this point if you time it just right, because you know there's some overlap in sporting events and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you time it just right, you could probably go to Vegas, see an mm -hmm. NFL game. To NBA NBA game, I'm sorry. And see, I'm sorry. See the NFL game, see the NFL game, NH, uh, NHL game, hockey game. Go gamble, and then hey, so, I mean, you literally go, just did go all bet three. on that game. That you, you just go bet watched, on that game, or that you both you know, watch. You, I mean, you could go into the, you could go into town leaving out better than you came in. Um, Come on, man. Yeah, that's it's it's more than just uh, the lights and lure, but unfortunately, this one is about the lights. So. Uh, Vegas actually just recently unveiled the sphere, which is basically what it is. It's a giant $2.3 <laughs> billion dollar entertainment Ooh. venue, excuse me, that has a giant LED screen uh, that 2. displays 2.3 billion that displays a range of anim anim excuse me, animations such as the moon, planets, fireworks, eyeballs. I mean, I, I wish I could pull up a photo, but like, or video, but. It is basically a, a giant, how do I say this? It almost looks unreal, like from another planet. <laughs> I mean, the way yeah. they work, I don't know if you've ever seen it's this video of um somewhere in an Asian country. Okay. Yeah, that's, look at that. That is, so even though you're looking at a photo, what? it's hard to scale. It is huge. It yeah. is. The, I mean, if it, if it costs 2.3 billion, it's going to be amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Like, like it is wow I mean, that is art. crazy so That's the it. sphere is said to be the largest led screen on earth about five hundred eighty thousand square feet and has 1.2 million puck lights i don't know what a puck light is but uh each light has 48 uh uh diodes it's a type of semi you know i'm reading this off of yeah website. basically like a, a type like of semi LED. semiconductor device which can yeah. display display up to 256 256 million colors holy moly Ooh. Um, basically, I even know it's there's like, that many colors. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it is a work of art, and it just goes to like, you know, it's so crazy how like we can make these type of devices and things and forms of entertainment, but we can't like solve like simple things like you know, I don't know, world hunger. That's always a good one to to go with. Yeah, <laughs> world, yeah. hunger. <laughs> world hunger, world hunger. But hey, not to get off subject, but you know, say real quick, do you know that the FDA disapproved an Alzheimer's drug? We'll probably talk about this on the show later on. Disapproved oh. an Alzheimer's drug for all you know that is supposed to actually be significantly uh, helpful for Alzheimer's patients. So really, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's yeah, all, there's also it. another like weight loss. I don't know what if it's a weight loss drug. This is real hot right now. I should we should be talking about that, but it's a uh, it's this. Oh my god! I think we might be yeah. talking about the same thing, but it's some type of pill that like helps. With, like it actually is the miracle weight loss pill. Oh, I think the yeah. main thing was for something for something else though. I just can't think of it. 
Yeah, I, that, I saw. I heard about that. And it's actually here just specifically for weight loss, and it's not for diabetes or anything. It's just right. for weight loss, but it works just as good as the that the major diabetic drug out there. That See, that's not fair using. because I be hitting the goddamn yeah. gym and working out and playing pickleball, and next thing you know, somebody just pop in a Tylenol, and <laughs> and that's it. Hey, that's you ain't got to worry about it. Look, it's gonna it's gonna be all sag, man. You ain't gotta, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, but it's um, if you oh, yeah. do go to if you do go to Vegas. Def, I mean, you, you're not gonna be able to miss this thing. First of all, it's not like um, you, <laughs> if you shit no, you see, just scale, yeah. the, the scale is amazing. It was taller than the hotel it was next to. Talk, I mean, yeah. that's insane. That is insane. It looks like it looks like it, it. I don't think it can actually open, but it looks like it actually. It looks like it, it could open and you know have a beam down. It so might. That to- I don't know. Man. I, I, I want to. I hope. Hopefully, um, there'll be more videos out with people who are a little bit closer, but um yeah if you're ever in vegas man check it out man like i now i see like vegas is always ahead of the trend right like you think just when you think vegas is down and people are tired of gambling and you know and uh addicted to gambling vegas like you know what how do we shock them this year like why don't we get a hockey team like okay next year why don't we how do we shock them this year? why don't we get a football team okay how do we shock why don't we get a giant sphere like yo <laughs> vegas is like years ahead of everybody anytime you think they really down, are they, just, they get up for yeah. you know at the nine count so um definitely check that out and uh yeah man um that's 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 pretty much all, all i got what yep. i uh go go ahead my bad no no that's 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 pretty much me i mean i want to go and see this thing when i go to vegas that is on my to-do list um it, it's just amazing i mean i'm still in awe of how big that thing is i get it it costs 2.3 billion dollars but Walking into that thing, you just have to look up. I mean, I don't think you would put your neck down. I, I don't think you. I mean, you just like this the whole time. No, like <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like you went inside it and then like it just turned out to be like a fucking rocket ship and just takes off into space. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, is this part of the tour? Oh man! All right, I'm ready for what the Florida. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and jump into what Florida. You know, and uh, go ahead and do. All right. All right, we back in. We were back into what the Florida, you know that game we like to play because, well, it's just fun. And this is Florida. You've read the stories. You, I've told you the stories. This is this is Florida. So of course we have our producer Colin, and of course my co-host Rock Mike. We're we playing against each other. I don't know what the score is. I think Colin might be beating us. I honestly, I think he's exactly actually beating sure. me. Uh, <laughs> he might be. I gave him a couple. Uh, freebies but while he looks up the score i'm gonna let our audience know the way this game works is i'm gonna read three different florida stories they're gonna tell me if it happened in north florida middle florida south florida you know it happened in one of those parts of florida um it can, now the caveat is it can actually all three happen in one part of florida i like to throw little tricks like that out there this will you know trip them up a little bit with that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump into what the florida it was a score, you got oh, score yeah. uh, i think he's winning by two Oh, that's the number. All right. Boom, Boom, button, three. Three. I like the uh, Beetlejuice shirt, too. I like that. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's one of my favorite movies, actually. Great movie. I don't even know. I, I'm surprised you even know what it is. That, hey, that was you. way before. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Was it? When did Beetlejuice come out? I mean, it, it probably was made before I was born, but still a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 96, baby. Was it not, 96? <laughs> oh, my God. So... Damn, you didn't even get to see Michael Jordan. Play. Oh yeah, it was definitely uh, it was definitely before you. Oh my goodness, yeah. But it was a great. Nice. You like came into the world was like plasma TVs and the internet. Like I remember having a just hope your friend was home and <laughs> she had to go to the library for information. Oh man! All right, we get it. You're old. Yeah. <sighs> uh, all right. Anyway, first Florida story. Uh, this is this is all right. Florida man. Leaves a huge hole and sorry, Florida man leaves a huge hole and his ankle monitor behind in a SWAT situation. Here's the story. This Florida man was arrested after he drove a car into an apartment building. But that's not the story. That's not the full story. This past Sunday around 4 a.m., multiple 911 calls came in about a car that had crashed into an apartment building and the driver was breaking into on-site apartments. Okay. Smash and grab. Corey, <laughs> Corey Payton, the Florida man, 
ultimately barricaded himself into one of the second story apartments as a local SWAT unit went into the building. Peyton jumped from the second story and needed medical attention. <laughs> and of course, there's more. That's not even it. That's not. There's still more. While investigating the crime scene, deputies found an ankle bracelet that Peyton had cut off. He was on parole for burglary. <laughs> yeah, he's over and listen. And he and here's the last part of the story. Peyton has a rap sheet as long as 139 felony charges. Wow, how's that? Thirty with 30 convictions 30 30 Peyton has to be like 5,000 years old I feel like after like the third conviction all right this guy is clearly hasn't learned his lesson from him in there for life unless he just did like one giant mess up and just got slapped with everything all that once that's crazy and also why do people that, jump from like the second story third story like you know what's going to happen <laughs> like talking know, about right? yeah the like, bushes, don't, buddy don't think you're that one person that just has superpowers and like it's just not gravity's not gonna affect you like it does everybody else. Like you're gonna bust your ankle, your yeah. leg, you're gonna get jacked up, and then you're gonna yeah. go to jail because they're gonna catch you, you know, yeah. crip walking down the street trying to get away. Yeah. Oh my god. And then you're gonna get another charge on top of the charge you already have. Just take the charge you already have. Yeah, don't add fleeing. That's that's just more time. You're, you're like freely giving them more time. What's that kid? <laughs> Latarian? Remember him? It's fun yeah. to do bad things. Yes, yeah, oh yeah, kid. yeah, that kid. Some people just like getting in trouble. I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, hey, not me. I like my freedom. I'm just <laughs> saying that right now. All right. Next Florida story. Florida man exposed by his Bluetooth connection. Here's the story. Oh, that's my worst fears. Uh, Florida man Christopher Harris admitted to police that he does stupid things when he's intoxicated. <laughs> one, of the, one of those stupid things was his... Oh, everybody unveiling. does. <laughs> Was his unveiling of his um, smaller Florida man? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> While sitting poolside at his residence, rather rather appropriate name. I won't say the the name. <laughs> Apparently, Harris was watching a adult video on his phone, and he might have been able to get away with it had the audio not been broadcast loud and clear over the pool's Bluetooth system. Wow! <laughs> Speaker system. Yeah. He's got his pants down and porn playing on the, the surround sound. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, of course, he was arrested for uh, indecent exposure. We got to, like, how, wait. I, I mean, like, I feel like you should, he was playing, like, porn music. Or not music. No, no not music. he was watching, he was, he was watching porn. This Florida man was watching an adult video on his phone. And, of course, which isn't around, illegal. But, not, uh, it's not at work <laughs> at the pool yeah. Yeah, at the pool the problem was is that the, like he connected pool. to the pool yeah he connected to, to the uh, apartments the apartment pool's oh. uh, bluetooth speaker system so everybody heard damn he was you get he got in trouble for that like i was <laughs> yeah, like, I was bad. No, got, no, yeah. no 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 i'm sorry sorry it, no I was, I, that was mistaken that was another the next story Nothing happened to him, but he did, of course, have to discuss the situation with the police. Okay, I was like, damn, get arrested for that? Like, does that like mm, I've, I've, yeah. I've probably done worse I, pranks I, than that. I don't even know if that's a prank. I feel like I've been there, buddy. You've never just accidentally <laughs> connected to someone's yeah. Bluetooth. Like what? it's the worst. Oh yeah, my goodness. I have like 40 like Bluetooth like saved connections on my phone, too. I don't <sighs> I don't know what. Like eight JBLs, a couple's sonos. Oh my god, it's just ridiculous. All right. All right. All right. Final for last Florida story. Florida woman found it easier to explain her the meth pipe she had than the baby raccoon <laughs> that was in her bag. That's my dealer. <laughs> it's uh here's a story from uh Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Rocket is my dealer. 40 43-year-old Lindsay Roadwell, uh Florida woman, was stopped by police earlier this earlier this week when they observed her riding her bike at night. Without lights, because you need lights <laughs> to ride your bike at night. For some reason, Lindsay gave the police verbal permission to search her backpack. That's just dumb. I mean, that's just dumb. Here's the reason why that's just dumb. Well, inside the backpack, officers found a broken glass pipe with a crystal residue that turned out to be da 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 meth. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Lindsay told the police that she had forgotten the pipe was in the bag. She also may have forgotten about something else in the bag, a baby raccoon. <laughs> she stole it? Like, how do you steal it? Like, 
<laughs> or did she like, you know, maybe that's what she uses to sell. Like she just bargains like, all right, I don't got any money, but I got this baby raccoon. How much meth can I get for that? <laughs> for this? How much I mean, meth can I get for baby rocket? <laughs> so I mean, for, for real, that's just what? But yeah. So, but those are your three Florida stories. Okay. And we are ready to play with the Florida. First of all, why all is right. it illegal to ride a bike at night without lights on? Because you can't see them. Have you? Yeah. How, why, oh my who God. Rides a bike in the street at night? A lot of Everybody? people. A lot of people. That's a, is. That, is, that is a Florida stupid. thing. I'm a sidewalk biker since day one. You know why? Because cars are on the road. I don't want to get hit. So I, I stay on the sidewalk. But I these sidewalks are kind of messed up here in Florida. I, I will say that. I When I was living in South Tampa, I was driving up and down, you know, whatever. At least every night, there's two or three bikes out there. And it's not just a bike. The person on the bike is dressed in black. Yeah. They're trying to get hit. Or like the guy that rides like in Why? the street, rides in the street <laughs> and like you don't know if you should pass him or he can keep up with traffic. And then you get behind him and then he just turns off onto the sidewalk. Like, bro, like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, make up your mind. Like, you can't have it both ways. Like, you gotta choose one uh, or the other. You can't just be I on the street. I hate bikers. Yeah. I hate bikers. <laughs> I hate them. I don't hate I don't I hate bikers who act like there aren't cars on the road. That's right. Yeah, bro. No, yeah. Share the those, road. Those, yeah. Oh my those goodness, both for real. All um, right. So first Florida story. Florida man who left. A huge show shot. when he jumped out the window and an ankle monitor behind his thought situation. I'm going to 39. go Central Florida. Okay. I will go North Florida. All right. This Ooh. happened in Sumter County, Florida, which is between Ocala and Gainesville. So that would be the so Central does Florida. That mean, I got a point. I think so. Central <laughs> Florida. That's <laughs> one. That's one. And I'm up to I'm up two. So up right. to. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, second story, the Florida man who uh, was Bluetooth. embarrassed <laughs> because porn. of his Bluetooth connection. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Central Florida. I'm going to say right. South. I'm going South. You're going to say South. All right. This happened in uh, did it? Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater. You know, I, be, I, you know honestly. And, and here's why I didn't say that. Here's why I didn't say I was going to say that. The Palms. I know where the Palms is. We've seen the Palms. It's right there off of, uh, we go across the bridge of, uh, Gandy, I mean, just straight down. I probably do. I know this person. I probably I feel like I know this person. Colin, Colin looks like he knows this person. Like it might have been him. Like I'm I, like, I know. Colin. I feel like I, I feel like, like I ju- I've been to the Palms. Yeah. Goes, was was it me? Yeah. yeah it was it me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, like, was just there the story? other week. <laughs> um, all right. Third story. All right, final story. The Florida woman who had a baby raccoon. Baby raccoon, man. That's some Saint Pete shit. I already know it is. I'm going Central. <laughs> said, I'm going Central. I already know it is. Or so, or uh, so. where is the great? What's uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's the county to the left of us? With Penn Green? Ellis? No, no. Oh, I mean the right about, of us. Uh, sorry. Lake, you're talking about Lakeland and all that, or um, Polk. Polk County. Yes, yeah, and Polk County. You're talking, about, right Polk. There. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about Polk County. <laughs> All right, no. Well, you are wrong, but you are right. It is in Central Florida. This happened in Clearwater. Clearwater. Mm-hmm. Florida. What'd you say, Kyle? <laughs> you said north or south? I said, you said south. south. Okay, happened in Clearwater. Yeah. I was close. I should have took my first answer. <laughs> You well, need to that makes me searches, Sean. Why are all of them central? <laughs> no, hey, <laughs> hey, he hit, he nope. hit the near me. It just happens. You know, it just happens that way sometimes. It happens you don't Google where like, yeah. should we track your location? Like, yeah, <laughs> why not? It's everything's like, <laughs> news stories near me. <laughs> <laughs> They're open. Uh, uh, you know what? I should I probably do that. Three. I probably, I probably would have, I probably have a better chance if I did, if I did. Because I'm telling you, my other source. It's like they just disappeared. So now I'm like everywhere looking for sources. And oh my God, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh. But anyway, also, that's, that's just how it is. Before you guys go, I have a, uh, to, you, I might look a little different after tomorrow. I am getting a haircut. Oh, yeah. you're getting rid of it. Yeah. It's, nice, it's, it's, it's time. It's time. So yeah, mm-hmm. next time you guys see me, I'll look a little bit younger. So. Just saying. Uh, uh, uh. Look at <laughs> look at you guys. Like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh man! Congrats All on right. haircut, bud. Congrats, thank you. <laughs> I worked really hard. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! All right. You have anything else for our audience? No, that'd be that'd be it, man. Um, happy Friday and uh, stay cool out there. Like I said, man. These these, you know, I know we talk about how hot it is, and most people like think we're complaining, but man, it is. It's something else. So stay hydrated out there. Stay cool. Have a good weekend. Be safe. 
Uh, hopefully you didn't blow your fingers off or your hand off during this past week. And those of you who kept Ooh. all your digits, we salute you and we will see you next week. All right. Well, you heard you heard uh, my uh, fabulous goals there. So, you, you know, have you guys a, a fabulous week. But my last thing, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Find us on, on YouTube. Find us on Amazon. I keep wanting to say Amazon, but Spotify. Yeah, Amazon. <laughs> Spotify. All right. You know, all the, all the favorite places you want to listen to podcasts, that's where we are. Find us and hit the subscribe button and that like button. Let us know you're listening. Leave us a comment. Um, last thing I got to say, uh, stay tuned to us because we have some guests coming up and we even have an NBA player that will be joining us on the weekly review. So stay uh, stay with us and be on the lookout for our, for yeah. that. So, with that said, this has been the weekly review of Sean's Rock. I am Jonathan Kina Torres. And it's your boy, Rock to Mike. Peace. Thanks for listening.